go for the deck. So yes. for you that are just joining in, <laughs> uh, we're going to do another wife draft. And so this is where Casey's going to draft a deck for us, uh, just in quick draft, because... Oh, he's... Jolly Reaper says no life draft, and I don't know what the difference is. Does that mean, like, not Ikoria? Is, is it, like, a different kind of magic? Just like, I don't know, join the military? I don't know. Anyway, don't so... Don't do that. <laughs> so Casey's going to, um... Oh, do the, do the do the people one. Well, we already hopped into this one. Uh, we had other people that are saying this, so... Anyway, so Casey's going to draft another deck. Uh, if you're just tuning in now, uh, please leave a comment in the chat. Make sure that you're followed, because at the end of this... Uh, draft once we're done playing it once we get our record once we've reaped our rewards um casey is going to be selecting a random viewer uh we have a pile of names over here to receive a pack of either m20 uh theros beyond death or war of the spark that she's going to also pick it random so um please stay around if you haven't followed please do follow so you can have that opportunity you do not have to be here at the end of the draft to receive the free pack uh, but i will be whispering to you and if you don't respond like tomorrow or whatever then i will just pick another person uh just to make sure that the pack is getting out quickly so just keep looking every now and then uh so yeah in case you're gonna do this draft please follow the stream if you haven't uh comment so that way you can be a part of the giveaway the third thing is uh, next next dra uh, next stream, which is going to be Tuesday next week. I'll, I'll go into that a little bit deeper uh, at the end here, and I'll also make a post about it. But next stream, next Tuesday, we're going to be doing our Patreon uh, pack giveaway, uh, which is kind of a similar situation, but we'll be drawing from all of our Tier 2 or higher Patreons. So currently we only have one person that's a Tier 2 or higher, so if you enter, you have a pretty good chance of uh, getting there. So... Become a Patreon by next week for the opportunity to also enter in that giveaway as too. So one today, one next week. And if we end up getting 50 followers by next stream, then we'll do another uh, regular uh, stream follower pack giveaway as well. So that's the spiel. I'll now send it over to Casey. We got some interesting stuff here. Yo. Help her out. Uh, she's uh, able to look at the chat. I'm going to do my best not to help her, uh, but I might chime in every now and then if I see something that just has to be taken. Uh, but know that there is a slight delay. We are going to try and wait, like, a few extra seconds to make sure that you guys can be involved. And I will now pass it over to Casey. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and this is my wife. <coughs> that cat's pretty good. Gives you a chance to go a different color, too. Wait, are you leaving? I'm just gonna fill up my water. Ah! Uh... <laughs> Alrighty, Rue. Sorry for people wearing headphones. Welcome to my ASMR channel. Today we will be drafting MTG cards and like clicking on a bunch of shit because that's what you do with a computer. Always good to pick the rare. I Always like start. creatures. So, alright, we've got white cards now ooh checkpoint officer i don't know what the fuck that means what that means is you can pay two mana and tap a creature so that can stop a creature from attacking that's, you or... i don't like that tap a creature that's <laughs> that's a little too sexual for me anyway so um i can't see myself so what um checkpoint officer does it's its value is it can tap a creature uh, so that makes it so that you can either get a creature through, so like it makes it so they can't block, or it taps a creature so they can't attack you with it. So it protects you. It's it's a good protection thing. Oh, we got what sparks a joy in you, birds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying. I promise. Okay. Oh, another cat. Well, come back. <laughs> I'm just here. <laughs> the people came here for you. I think they came here for you, honestly. I don't know. <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't listening when you explained what this card does. <laughs> he essentially makes it so either a creature your opponent controls won't be able to attack you, 
or you can make sure that one of your creature can get in unblocked it's, it's in like a little turn it's kind of like removal it's 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 fine i think it's a really good common oh what's this guy so that's a crystal it taps for white red or black so it's like mana fixing so it's kind of like a tap land uh, but it's also ramp all mm. together in one i think i'll go with checkpoint officer okay Aww, now, now do know look, no it's pink now do know so cup warden right you can only mutate on non-humans so you can't mutate on checkpoint officer but it's perfectly fine to have okay. a deck with some humans in it Good to there's know. also a whole human archetype Ooh, this looks like a you gain four life you destroyed that, okay, I like this because it gives you options, and also it's just pink. That's my favorite color. Ugh. Look at this creature. Can you mutate it? Yep, you can mutate on that squirrel. Yeah. I will if you can mutate on it. I'm just blasting through these. I'm sorry. I feel like I should be a lot more careful about this, and I'm definitely not being careful about it. Sure. Take your time. And remember, you don't have to just be white. Uh, well. You can't be, though. I'm, Mark, I can't choose my race like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was born white. I'm leaving. <laughs> no! <laughs> I've driven my husband to insanity. <laughs> Why can't I see... Just, yeah. Just to get you some views. <laughs> Ooh, who's this guy? He's got some scales. One thing I didn't explain Another to Casey was what rate is. Hmm. So, like, what do creatures do if there's nothing on it? They do nothing. They have no effect. They are just... So they're just duds. Sound that he sounds like a dud to me. You you hear that? Gloom, gloomy, you're worthless. Nobody wants you. Nobody wants you, Morty. Yeah, that's nice. I just... Birds just spark joy in me. Oh. Solid card, solid card. Okay, okay. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I don't know why I find this card so funny. It just is. Ooh, ooh dark bargain. He's selling his soul to the devil right there. That's a dark bargain. So that fits under the advantage side of bread. So that is the B-R-E-A. Oh, so not great. What would you call this? I would call that A as well. Oh, man. That's, that's fine in a heavier creature deck with a ton of um, evasion. It's like if you had a bunch of flyers, and flyers are always good. I mean, like... Fires just are great in general. It's they're evasive. They can do a lot of damage. Uh, well, fires are just naturally great. And I guess we'll throw them in. Haven't played with it yet, so I don't know. I do not know. Dismal backwater. Sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so this pack has a good variety of um, olive bread, really. This pack has uh, bombs, removal, advantage, and duds, and evasion. I would consider I would consider a tap land like a like mana fixing to be under advantage. Is this mana fixing? Yeah. Cool. Mm, no, 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 no. What do you mean no? Ooh, we got the egg. No, no, no. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help out just a little bit here. Wingfold. You want, you either, want either the wingfold or the divine arrow, because removal is pretty strong, and that was one of our downsides of not uh, from our last draft is we didn't really have much removal at all. So divine arrow is removal. So I'd say either one of those two. I guess we'll throw in the arrow. So do we have humans and non-humans in our deck? You know we have checkpoint officer as a human, and we have cub board, which is a non-human. Yeah. But would you take an advantage, or would you rather have another squirrel? That's also a nightmare. Mm -hmm. We do have people in the chat that like nightmares. What's a nightmare? It literally says nightmare. Oh. It's a type. Well, he, he fucking looks like one! Herr. Yeah, there are a uh, yep. Yeah, uh, Kevin had a good comment uh, there. There are a lot squirrel. of good white blue flyers. So if you want to, we'll do another squirrel. We're we're kind of into a flyer deck here. Oh wait, I don't think I a flyer non-human build. I didn't add him yet. Not a bad card. You can mutate onto him, and he's a two we'll, for one. We'll mutate. We'll get that two for double the fun. Enchanted creature. I don't know. Do we have anything with vigilance? I don't think so. Yeah, that is useless to me. It's a combat trick, at least. It gives one of your creatures plus one, plus one. So if somebody blocks, thinking they have a fine block. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't think we're playing anything in this pack. Probably would play. I don't know. So what did I tell you to do if you don't think we're going to play anything? This one. Yeah, take the higher rarity card. And put it in our side piece. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. We got a crystal. Clash of Titans is just really strong. I mean, it's double red and we're not in red. So it's like, Clash man. Oh, look at the owl. Clash of Titans might be fine Counter to speculate on, too. Targets. So that'd be if someone tries to kill your creature or something, then you can stop it. So is that considered removal or evasion? That'd be advantage. Because oh. uh, they're going down one card, you're going neutral. <gasps> My favorite. I'd say if you're going to take like a, like... It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty tricky. I don't know if we'll play any of these. Uh, it's like, I don't know. We've got a suggestion for keep safe. Okay. I will trust your judgment, Jolly Reaper 10. <laughs> Another cat. Okay. Cat tribal. <laughs> cat flyers. That's kind of what we are. I Get. guess we'll go with the cat. Kits and flyers. Well, on color turtle. And we got a turtle. And. <laughs> Um, uh, no, DJ You'll Khaled. be my side piece turtle. Oh man. We'll put you in the side piece for now. Ooh! We got a mythic up in this pack. What's the mythic? Is it this guy? Yeah. That card's really good. That's that's definitely okay. worth going into a uh, green for. Oh man. And we got great fixing in green in this pack too. I know you want it. I know you want the great horn. <laughs> Migration path. That is ramp. And and fixing. I trust it. We need more green anyway since we put him in. That looks good. Oh, well, in our playing, in the in the in all the watching, did you see a lot of enchantment and or artifacts played by our opponents? Uh, not gonna lie, I was dicking around in the chat. I did not see any anything of importance that I should have been looking at. 
It's very rare. Blossoming scenes. That is on that is on color fixing. Is there anything else in the pack that we might want? Otherwise, it's always fine to take lands. Can't see the rest of the peak. What's wrong with it? Yeah. We'll, we'll go with blossoming sands. Hmm. How many creatures with mutate do we have? What? How many creatures with mutate do we have? So far, just the one. Or oh, two. Two. So if we do want to find more mutate creatures, mm. then... See, Spontaneous Flight is pretty good. I don't see any mutate in bitches in this. So Essence Simeon doesn't mutate. Um, but uh, Spontaneous Flight, I'll, if we're going like, if we're trying to do a little bit more flyers, I think, I think it's gotta be one of those two. Yeah, I saw Evolving Wilds too. <laughs> but, you know, I don't want to lead too much. I did not like that noise I heard. What? It was weird. It was like, I can't even replicate it. Oh, it whenever weird. you take certain things, certain creatures yeah, or whatever? Yeah, it, it screamed at me. <gasps> oh my gosh, we're gonna forbidden fish. Well, we have one of those I just, colors. It's... I just don't understand how this could be forbidden. It looks so wholesome. This little dinosaur friend. It's like Capture Spirit is in our colors. Glimmer Bell is a flyer. Lee the Stampede is always nice if we end up having enough creatures. And I think we have a ton of creatures. So, you got some good solid picks in here. Card advantage, removal, or evasion. So, card advantage, removal, or evasion. What's evasion? Or what's removal? The removal is a capture sphere. I guess we'll go with that. Because I can't resist the stupid Two Clash of Titans, cards. or is this the same Clash of Titans? What? I can't remember. <sighs> Three Whisper Squads so far? What is- is that the name of a card, or is that people, like- It's a card that works with itself. Okay, Like, I the more you have of it, the better- you, like, the better that card is. Oh. Like, if you just have one Whisper Squad, the card's garbage. If you have two Whisper Squads, the card's, like, ugh. But if you have, like, th like, four or five or six Whisper Squads, it just gets exponentially better. But even then, it's, like, they're humans, you can't mutate oh. onto them. I thought I was being dunked on for mumbling or something. It's a combat trick and it gives something flying. I think honestly that's probably the best I trick I want the, the fox. He's cute. Swallow hole. Is that Jon Snow? It's removal. That's Jon Snow. When was Jon Snow ever swallowed whole? I don't know, but it, doesn't he look like him? Yeah, by Egret. <gasps> I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that did happen. Some, some deep reference to Game of Thrones jokes. Swallow hole is removal. It's pretty good. Honestly, it's like a path without. It's like, it's pretty good. You just need to have a creature. It's it's swallow hole's great. Cool. Well, here is our deck, Swaik. Hmm. Didn't miss much. I don't think we. Were, I don't think there was another Whisper Squad. So. She did not pick a fox. She picked. Yes, I did. I picked no, 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 the no, no, one no, no, earlier. No. You you picked spontaneous flight. There's a picture of a fox on it, but it is an instant. No, it's a fox. It is pretty though. I don't know what her problem is. She kind of looks like what's the Mad Show? I don't know. The the cars and the apocalypse. Mad Max. I hated that movie. It made me want to vomit. I panicked throughout the entire viewing of that movie, and it was not a fun experience. Hmm. I feel like... I guess Bristling Boar could be good. 
I don't think we have too many mutating creatures, so I don't think we could we should pick the egg. We should go with this guy. Oh, we have the stampede came around. That's interesting. Do we have one? No. So it's either that or the mana fixing. It's mm. it's tricky. Chad might be able to help you out. Okay, guys. Lead the stampede or blossoming sands. I don't know which one to pick. Or am I just wrong and there's another one I should do? I don't know. Let me know. I'm just I'm just here to be a meme, really. Kevin's saying we have a lot of creatures. Yes, yes, I see we have a lot of creatures. Um, that makes Lead the Stampede better. Okay. In his opinion, I think, is what he's trying to get at. Okay, gotcha. So I, uh, but Basil says pick with your heart. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a heart. I don't, what's that? I think Vivian can make creatures. Scroll down to Vivian. She can make creatures with vigilance. Oh, then this might be cool. Could be useful. Ooh, should we do another spontaneous flight? Don't look at me like that. You're allowed to help sometimes. I don't know. I think in some I think cases... we want Wilt. You're looking at me like maybe not. <laughs> no, you want fully grown. I think out of the four, it's probably the better choice at the moment. You want moment. fully grown. Wow. Don't like any of these. I guess we'll put him in our side piece. <laughs> I just love it so much. I, we gotta go with Light of Hope. We'll make her a side piece for now because we already have. Light of Hope gets better. Um, one in the deck. Light of Hope gets better when there's uh, multiple the games, like when it's best two out of three. All right. Oh, Slither Wisps. Seems so bad mm -hmm. and limited. Also, you are so ugly, you'll never find love. It's a nightmare. <laughs> well, maybe we should... Maybe we gotta go back to Otter. No. No, this looks good. We can counter the target spell. Ooh. Ooh. Like it. I like Frostlings. I mean, we King do. Caesar and Frostlings, that might be a toss-up to the chat. Because King Caesar is another mutate creature, which makes our mutate matters spells a little bit better. But Frostlings mm -hmm. is just... Oof. That's a tough one. Uh, what are the other ones? And it's the rest of them. Yeah, that's a tough one. I know it's got to be one of the two. Yeah, I do think it is King Caesar. We're playing a bunch of creatures. Oh, I mean, Frost Lynx is removal and it's great. We hope that comes around. King Caesar. We definitely want a Frost Lynx. Oh! Ew, yeah. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a trumpeting gnar in there. Oh. That's in colors, and that card's really good and mutate -y. We gotta... If we don't get another Frost Lynx... Then it'll be sad. Then that is... I don't think we're gonna get another one. No, we, we got a great flyer right there. A flying mutate creature right there. Aw, it's a fox bird. Aw, that's nice. He's, like, he's got a bee friend. Oh, he's a bee! You like jazz? You like jazz? This is my ASMR channel. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. 
there's flyers. Do we want another one of these guys? Well, what's how's our curve looking? I don't know. Are we looking chunky? I don't know. <sighs> Let's touch up here too. If you look in the top corner, it shows you like how many ones, twos, threes, fours, fives. What do fives mean? Like five drops, how big they are, like how much they cost to cast. And we're pretty heavy in the four drop slot. We don't have any sixes, but we're pretty heavy on the high end, our average CMC. Like if you double click on this deck thing, it should tell us your average CMC is. Yeah, so your average CMC is about 2.8. You don't want to go above three. So I have too much. No, you're you're still you're still on 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 curve on par. But of course, that's with every single deck, every single card we've drafted. I don't know what like what makes that what it is though. So average CMC is the average cost. So you have this many ones, this many twos, threes. So you add one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two. Plus two. And you divide it by the. You take an average mm. of all the numbers. I don't want to do math. I'm just show kidding. her the graph. Look at this graph. I think that was a good one. <gasps> oh yeah, BB. Oh, that means we chose wrong. Why? Uh, the Tyrion came back around, so we could have taken the Bitterbell and still gotten one. Now I think it's just evolving wilds. What? It, it's 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 a deeper mechanic thing. Fix up our mana. I think our deck is pretty solid. We got one Frost Links. Would have liked to have seen another. That's good if you got the cycling deck. You don't got the cycling deck. But there is a flyer in there. We just have a ton of creatures. They're not wrong to have. Where are you there. seeing flyer? Oh. Another squirrel. Yeah, I think we have two though. You can have as many as you want. You can have as many as you draft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do another squirrel. Ooh, so many. There's no respect for the Terion. The card's great. Uh, every deck should have at least maybe one if they can. Did I do an otter already? No. I guess we'll... I don't think so. You don't want an otter? No, I said I don't think you've drafted an otter already. Otter's great. Otter? Just because you said no. I didn't say no. <laughs> oh! That's lucky. Do we want another Frostlings? I think it's really good, yeah. I think we want another Frostlings! I don't know if I care for any of these. So we have this well, enchantment. Well, hold on. We have this enchantment down here. This right here. Mm -hmm. Come to it. Nope. Down one more. There you go. So whenever a creature deals combat damage to a player, you draw a card. So if we're going to play that, which I'd like to give it a shot, uh, we want to be able to get creatures in that aren't being blocked. Mm -hmm. And there is a creature in this of these five that do do that. That do what? Make it so that a creature gets in for damage. Thanks. More flight. So we got a nice little, like, kind of flying, mutating ramp deck or, with, with Vivian. Or do we want Thwart the Enemy? I don't think I'd no. ever play Thwart the Enemy. <laughs> well, now it comes down to do we want another dolphin or do we want a convolute? I don't think we're going to be playing that many counter spells. I feel like we would need to do a dolphin. So many lights of hope. Man, this bitch. You are disgusting. Alright. It'll swap a Reno. Be sure to like and comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell. <laughs>
There's no notification bell on Twitch. <laughs> oh, okay. Alrighty. Subscribe. What are you doing? To is this Patreon. a Patreon? Uh, this is my ASMR channel. <laughs> okay. Um. Phase Dolphin in. All those lands out. I wish there was a way we could just drag this up higher. Okay. Let's take out the worst cards at the moment. You don't like... You don't like the view? Are you dunking on me? Ooh, you, you're back to not being able to see me. Oh no, we got your armpit. We're just gonna... Set it over. Uh, keep safe. Maybe not gonna play a checkpoint officer. So a checkpoint officer's good, but if we're playing a... Uh... I may not need that. We do want to give this a try. Bristling Boar is medium. You know, just want to be splashing green, but you know, it's a double green splash. This is tough, actually. This is a, um... We lost viewers. Come back. Seven. They, they actually left after I showed my tits. <laughs> actually, um... After you started drafting, we jumped up to a very high number. A few more, but I don't need all of those. Definitely want all of these. Maybe we do take out Phase Dolphin entirely. Maybe we just gotta cut one more. Seems good. Alright, Casey, we'll let you pick. Oh, I get to pick a land? <gasps> hey, I pointed at the land. We've seen them all. Ding. Ding. Have to do some quick maths. Island, here we go, all the islands. Alright. See when you like? Hmm. <laughs> I like that one. It's like creepy, but also like magical, you know? And then finally forests. I think we're actually just gonna do a five, five split. I like that one. It's cute. 15, 17, and we get to have Two more things in the deck. How did I miss that? We have 17. I don't know, I thought I had 23 in the deck. Alright, so we get to add two more cards. I like checkpoint officer. I think I'm going to take Checkpoint Officer over the Spontaneous Flight, uh, mainly because a lot of our great creatures already are flying, and Checkpoint Officer is just great removal. If they do end up playing a really big flyer or mutate something up, this is a way we can get rid of it and get around it, outside of the Capture Spear as well. 
So I think this is the set. I think this is the uh, the forty that we're gonna go with. I think I, I feel pretty good about this. Yep. I like it. Okie dokie. So this is our deck. Are we going to go better or worse? Let me know, chat. Are we gonna do better or worse with Casey's second deck ever drafted? Oh man. <laughs> Let's find out. We'll try and blow through this one a little bit more quickly so we can get to the pack giveaway since it's getting neat. But y'all like y'all like y'all like the after hours content in there in there, right? Yeah, after hours get, content. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, get out of here. <laughs> I'm just getting you the views. Get it PG. I Mark, I already swore too much. It's we're we're past PG. We're this is Big Brother After Dark, okay? Ugh. I'm Julie Chen. This is Big Brother. I haven't seen that show in years. Comment in the chat if you guys used to watch Big Brother. It used to be my favorite show, and then I just stopped watching it and stopped caring and now all i watch is the office and sometimes bob's burgers i remember <laughs> doug i remember when this was a family stream it is a family stream <laughs> we're married family <laughs> little turtle you know that's a turtle having an orgasm right or that's just what they want you to think. No, that's that's a turtle. That's a turtle gasm. He is having fun. <laughs> that's, that's what they sound like when they're having fun. Do you do you want to sound like that? <laughs> Are they gonna miss their land drop? That'd be lucky. Just straight green, eh? Green splash all the other colors. Otter. And next turn, cub otter. And then flying cub otter. Are you gonna crush him? What? Are you gonna crush him? Him is in the otter, or are we assuming the gender of our opponent? We're assuming the gender of our opponent. He's got life gain. We need to play a second. Mutate. No attacks. The only big brother I know is from 1984. Is that like the whole government conspiracy like big brothers watching you yeah that's exactly what it is we're talking about the deep state how deep does that hole go oof that's pretty good that gets around my divine arrow and now it can block my vulpicate that can kill it Can one really be on the internet? OP is really touching all my cards. Hmm. Hmm. They're really thinking hard. Here we go. One, two, three. Whoop a dee dee.
all attacks. I can hear the fedoras tipping from here. Mmm, <laughs> my lady. That's nice. Still an otter under there. Here. Bah. Go. Must be from one of your hooves. It's pretty good. Highly recommend reading it during quarantine. She's reading what? Uh, I wasn't listening. Uh, the 1984 uh. Big Women or whatever the book is called. Big Brother, that's the one. Do I have that book? I don't think I do. No. Okay, so we'll capture Sphere this time. No, the one I have is Fahrenheit 451. I was like, I have one of the creepy ass dystopian books with numbers in the title, but I forget which one it is. I still haven't finished Fahrenheit 451. I think I read the first 10 pages and then got bored because I was sick of hearing that oh, shit. Oh, it can only kill tapped creatures. Oh, I thought I had to tap a creature to kill it. Oh, well, whatever. We will just play this garrison captain. Meow. Tribal. Bing, bing. Who's the friend who likes to play? Bing, bong, bing, bong. No. <laughs> no books. Oh, good job. You almost got me below starting life total. <gasps> Can we do both? Nah, we can't do both. Alright, so we'll munch on this guy. Munch. We'll play the Kalavamansan's mission. Nice. Damn! 16 to 0 in one second. Yeah, the card is card's insane. Wanna know? I thought I could hack it, but I don't know if I can. Maybe cough? What do you mean? Hack it? <laughs> hack it up? No. <gasps> we drew the vivs! You know what I mean. We got to lead the stampede into thingies. I mean, it's bedtime. Sleepers? It might be bedtime for me. It's it's almost 11 o'clock. You will take a nap and I'll get you and up when it's time. No, I need to be up super early tomorrow because we have a lot to do we have like actual things to do we have like several chicken sandwiches to eat tomorrow and you also want us to look at a house so i just tomorrow is really busy for us so yeah. i'm gonna get some sleep because i know i'm gonna need to wake up at like six or seven in the morning to be ready in time Looking at a house tomorrow at 10, uh, working on filming a video for Casey's YouTube channel around noon. And then I would like to be asleep by 8.30. That's my schedule for tomorrow. I'll be also working to upload uh, another YouTube video to my own channel too. I'd like to upload Casey's draft. Give me some crots. Didn't you upload it? One, two, three. Nice. I started uploading the video, but um, it was taking too long, so I had to cancel it so that it wouldn't mess with the stream. Mm -hmm. I even said nice. 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 
discard a card. We need another green source. We need another green source. I will just discard. Well, I think it's time for me to go to bed. I'm sorry. You tried. I tried. Shouldn't take too much longer. I will be back one of these days. However many times I am allowed to be here without it being weird. <laughs> last, uh, last week's stream went till midnight. Um, I definitely don't want to be up till midnight, so I will catch you on the flippity flip. Okay. Do you get good nights in the chat? Good night, everyone. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. <laughs> subscribe on Patreon. Time to slam Vivian. So if you guys like this, we can definitely do it more often. I think it's certainly fun. It takes a lot of stress out of the drafting. on top of uh, tokens. making new friends. I think next turn I might tick down just to get Cub Ward plus something. How that works? Wow, that is really good. That is insanely good.
Yeah, really taking a whole minute here for them to queue up. Already knew. Ken's fine. Otter into Cub Warden. We didn't even get our second white mana, but. Keep. Play an island first turn. Because we want to fetch for a plane, so we don't want to get less planes. Eh, so now we'll have to do it. Be cordial to our opponent. <laughs> Everyone's playing the cycle deck. Which deck do you think was better? Do you think the uh, thieving ah uh, sorry not the thieving otter deck that was both of them the uh, white or red was better with the blue green? We did it. Divine Arrow would be pretty sad. Nice. Now we just need our green mana. Green mana or any mana. Green or any. Preferably green. Still no green. Do want to get that green. Let's go to combat here, see what happens. I think we are. <laughs> Just to get this snare tactician off the field, the checkpoint swallow hole is. <sighs> now. Mm. Sigh. They always have it. They always have more psych. Oh! Okay. Tap my nar. 
c c c combo Jeez, they they literally had all of the one mana cyclers. Oh, how did I miss this going away? No attacks. Leave him on the defense. I'm fearing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep track of the count for me. That's seven so far. And they played another snare too. Cycle count eight. Cycle count nine. Cycle count ten. So one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, one, da, 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 da. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, so it's just nine. Really need to get this off the field. <sighs> Let me leave up tap mana. So it should still be at nine. Ooh, that's good. Thank you for the counter. Three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Still no green mana. I have lethal flyers. This game worked out pretty nicely with uh, not having green mana. Rude. Pretty sure we just jam the space bar here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine.
Well, they did have it. <laughs> Settle the wreckage, yeah. Wait a minute, that's not supposed to be in there. over there that's spooky that's really scary I don't think this hand is good neither is this hand but we're not gonna go for the five versus eight Nar is farthest away We need that green. This might be our first loss. Yeah, green black rock is very much like mono red. You can pretty much always find a way to make it work in each standard format. Right. One thing I learned recently, and maybe it was like common knowledge, but uh, this, uh, also doubles effect damage, too. And I was like, oh, I didn't realize that, and then I was like, oh, duh. Ooh, alright, well, might call this lose. Man, getting settled there would just be... Ugh. Sad. You probably got all your lands out of your deck, though. I'm gonna kill this now. Not doing much otherwise. Well, not green. <laughs> Again with the snare tactician. better to play out first. Did he not realize that Sulfuric Vortex wasn't modern legal? Is that what happened there? Fish People versus um, uh, Merfolk is a pretty interesting matchup. Menacey big boy. I'm gonna block him up too anyway. <laughs> no! That's sad.
So less mana, or less less round. We didn't have what was it? We didn't have blue mana, or I don't know. This guy ended up with a pangolin. I mean, if you can only play odd spells, you, know, you, just, you work with what you got. Pretty dirty. Yeah. I'll make that trade. That was a good pick. This tactician is going to be like the end of me. I'd love to get Casey into a position where she um, would come to the shop and actually play. I don't know if uh, we'll reach that point, but you guys can definitely help us get there. See if I can turn this corner here. Took a big old beating. You are a. Oh. Wow, that was a good ruinous blast. I think we're out of it. I am a female empowerment modern deck. It's my junk knight deck. I think there's a. There's gotta be a misspell in there somewhere. I have a female empowerment modern deck. It's my junk knight deck. Well, perhaps. Give me land deck, you know you want to. But that alone won't do it, so we do the old cycling thing. Aww. A little, a little too late to the party there, Viz.
a grinder, but when you're down two cards, it happens. We're three and one, let's keep going. I mean, perhaps. It doesn't necessarily have to be a like woman empowerment thing. It just has to be something she's interested in. So, But also something simple to start with. Uh, so I don't know. I'm not really sure what uh, the best deck for Casey would be. I think it's got to be green. So we'll end up playing Glider on the Greenhorn if the Glider survives. Uh, it depends on uh, what deck. Because some jank is easy. Does she like shiny cards? Probably. say so, yeah. Ah! <laughs> See, elves would be fairly simple, I think. Modern elves, at least. Legacy elves is a little bit more tricky, but modern elves is pretty simple. turn, but we can get rid of the Halbonder. Gaining some life, getting big. I'm glad this thing doesn't have life link. But we're gonna capture spirit. Get tapped. Spontaneous flight here, get that up in the air, and then King Caesar the following turn. Hmm. Nice. Next level. Pretty good. What you gonna kill though? The thing that draws me cards or the thing that gets me lands? I think I just go wide, honestly. I think I just play this as a creature. I don't really need another land right now. I'd rather have three more power on the board. Yeah. Yeah, 
but now they got a removal thing here. They gain for life and kill a creature every time, every turn they want to. Uh, that's nice. That's pretty nice. Do it flying. Nah, we'll give it hexproof. I changed my mind. opponent. Oh. Oh, that's not good right anyway. That's lethal. Interesting. Keep on trucking. We're going to push our way through. Four and one. On similar pace. On similar pace. Crush for this is more when you're X and two. That's what we like to see.
Lifelink's better early, Death Touch is better later, but since I have a 1-1, one, one, probably Lifelink, actually. Ooh, that kind of makes me fear the potential Porky Parrot. Simic is still so strong. You'll be back. Ah, auto tapper made me tap wrong. Every day is a new this cat's going to town. Wait, what? That's insane! I didn't even realize Vivian's other effect if you can cast a top card in your library. Wow! Okay, this Planeswalker is busted. Shannon, we'll do everything we can to help you be comfortable. No rush at all. We'd love to have you there. This is just busted. This is just bonkers over here. Vivian over here is just like insane. People play Vivian more. Why is this Planeswalker not seeing more play? Oh, 
Five and one. Trucking, trucking right along. So this is where we ended uh, with the first draft. Here's where we get to the second one. That's fair. Although, a lot of the decks that are playing Luka... I mean, there are some decks, but the main deck that's playing Luka for, like, the uh, Yorian Fires decks, they're not playing much green, if any at all. And you can get a 5-mana uh, Vivian out turn 3. So, I'm just saying, I mean, I don't know. This hand's fine, this hand's medium, but it's keepable. I wish I had a brush wig. Ooh. I don't know about you guys, but I am tired. Yeah, Ghidorah. I'd love to get Casey more uh, and more into magic. It'd be really great if you guys could help me out with that. It's too late again. Whew. Oh, well, we're doing this again. <laughs> you bring for legacy elves though what would you bring Vivian in for? Would you ever consider uh, Vraska Golgari Queen, though, for that? I don't know if the Legacy Elves deck plays black at all, I can't remember. Please don't give it hexproof. That's all I ask is that you do not give it hexproof. Just don't give it hexproof. Two bio. I feel like Golgari Queen would be. Fine. I mean, you have a lot of things that you can sack. You gain life off of it, you draw more cards, and then its ultimate is any one of your elves getting in, and you win. And it's four mana. Kills things, so it's removal too. I think Golgari Queen might be, might be good in the sideboard. Probably going to be spontaneous flight. You know, you know, just, you know.
<gasps> Wait. I can't tap a creature. wise on me. <laughs> yeah, I think we do end up cycling this. play Vivian until I clean up this board a bit. Just attack with Mecha Godzilla. Come on. got this one. They outvalued us. They played smart. Yeah, it's pretty much over. There's not much we can do here. that auspicious Strix is just really good. Now it's got trample too. Come on. series of runs there. Well, we might end up with the same exact record. Alright, we're 5-2. and two. Goal here is to just win one more and beat the record from the prior game. Or prior draft. It was Mechagodzilla, yes, and they outplayed me. They thought and stayed patient. Good for them. Good for them. Alright, Arkalim. One of us is moving on, one of us is not. Sand is fine. Arkalim is going first, so they get that benefit. Oop. 
super tired. Super tired. Super tired. Big yawns. Beats. Keep playing the flyers. Race is on. She got removal opponent and I win. I'm going all in on this. Because I play Volpikeet on top of the beast, swing for seven. Make this unblockable. There's nothing we can do about that. So we have to attack for seven, five. We're, we can get in for six. How sad is that? Because that'd be other creatures. We fought valiantly, but they got there with the uh, pouncing shore shark face dolphin combinombo. I don't know if I'm if I'm missing something here. This puts a plus one plus one counter whenever it mutates. So we can mutate twice, but that's not enough. Because it also uses our only white mana. So that gets our closest. They got it. They had the one thing they needed, they had the, the trick. And that'll wrap it up. Clean and sweet, short and done. I'm perfectly fine with that, I'm ready for bed. So, let's do this giveaway and then go to our outro here. Some good. Nice, probably the worst ultimatum, but an ultimatum nonetheless.